Good morning, good afternoon. Whatever time you come in contact with this video, this is Angela behind the camera. Uh, we are here on our chapter 12 of Proverbs. Chapter 12 of Proverbs. So we are in the 16th part. We're reading from... We're pushing into chapter 12, but we're still in chapter 11. So we'll be reading from 17 to 31 as we have read the first few verses yesterday and so we're going to push in into the second half of chapter 11 i am just thanking god this morning it's another it's another it's another it's another morning to exalt the kingdom of heaven father we exalt you we shall back you we humble in your presence saturate those that come in contact with this video this morning and breathe afresh upon them in the name of jesus we do we know that persons go through different difficulties and different situations meeting persons this day and god we just want to pray for each and every one this morning we pray that god your faith will make them whole in the mighty name of jesus Mighty God, we pray that you will cover this video under your blood. And I pray for your divine will to be done concerning this video. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray that God, your word will move to and fro and create the change and shifting that is needed in the hearts and mind of your people. Have thine own way even now. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 17 to 31. Of chapter 11 the merciful man does not does good for his own soul the wicked man does deceptive work but he who sows righteousness will have a sure reward as righteousness leads to life so he who pursues evil pursues it to his own death those who are of a perverse heart are an abomination to the Lord, but the blameless in their ways are his delight. Though they join forces, the wicked will not go unpunished, but the, the posterity of the righteous will be delivered. As a ring of gold in the swine's snout, so is a lovely woman who lacks discretion. The desire, the desire of the righteous is only good, but the expectation of the wicked is wrath. There is one who scatters yet increased more, and there is one who withholds more than is right but it lead to poverty the righteous shout the righteous soul will be made rich and he who waters will also be watered himself the people will cur will curse him who withholds grain but blessings will be on the head of him who sell it. He who earnestly seek good, good finds favor, but trouble will come to him who seek evil. He who trusts in his riches will fall, but the righteous will flourish like foliage. He who troubles his own house will inherit the wind and the fool will be servant to the wise of heart. The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life and he who wins and he who wins souls is wise. 31 and last. If the righteous will be recompensed on the earth, how much more the ungodly and the sinners, sinner. Oh, Lord, I tell you. These two verses, 24 and 25, right? 
I'm going to do a comment from that. No. Okay. These two verses. No. A good leader needs and uses wise counsel. One, one person perspective and understanding is severely limited. He or she may not have all the facts or may be blinded by bias, emotion, or wrong impression to be a wise leader at home, at church, or at work, seek the counsel of others and be upon, open to their advice. Then after considering all the facts, make your decision, make your decision, and um, how is it that righteousness leads to life? That's a question. How is it that righteousness leads to life? Righteous, righteous people find life because wisdom makes the, the, makes the hours of the, the day more profitable and the years more fruitful. They live life more fully each day. They also find life because people usually live longer when they live right with proper diet, exercise, and rest. In, addi in addition, they need not fear death because eternal life is God's gift to them. And we can read um, St. John eleven twenty five. 25, um, as we spoke of that. By contrast, evil people not only find eternal debt, but also miss out on real life on hurt. That's my comment this morning. Oh, I thank God um, that he is just standing with us in these few days of our prayer and the reading of his word. And there's a struggle going happening in the atmosphere right now. But I know that God, once he takes us to it, he will take. Once he takes us to it, he will take us through it. And we just want to glorify God that nothing, don't, don't allow nothing to stop you in this season. Don't allow nothing to distract you. Once you hold on to your vision, just fuel it with praise. Fuel it with thanksgiving. Fuel it with with determination, fuel it with the word, read the word, and just continue to press on. Don't allow anything to to push you to give up. Give up on your dreams. Give up on your vision. Just keep on going. Father, we give you thanks for each and every one that come in contact with this video this morning. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That God, you will just bless them from the crown of their heads to the sole of their feet. Father God, we pray that you will fall afresh upon your people this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. God, you know the season and time that you have allowed them to be in, mighty God. And uh, the testing and the trials that is on them, mighty God, that they are going through. But God, your grace is sufficient this morning. In their weaknesses, oh God, your strength will make perfect. We thank you for your strength. We thank you for courage. We thank you, God, for your boldness. We thank you for determination. We thank you, God, that in you, Lord, they shall put their trust. And never will we, never will them be put to confusion. We all, we stand in, oh God, knowing that through you, Lord, we are more than conqueror. We thank you for being our provider, burden bearer, problem solver, healer, and deliverer. Father, we pray for our neighbors this morning. Bless them from the crown of their heads to the sole of their feet. We pray, O oh God, for our co-workers this morning, God. Lift them up, O oh God, and strengthen them. Bless and cover them. In the mighty name of Jesus, we even pray for our enemies this morning. Father God, you know their weaknesses and you know, Father God, why they have become our enemies. Well, God, we pray that they will see your hand and they will see your power and your glory in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray for our salvation, Lord, that you will cover it under your blood. So many things are happening, but God, we know we can trust you. We can depend upon you. And as we cry out, oh God, we're not crying out only for ourselves, but for those we come in contact with. In the mighty name of Jesus, bless those that are sick with healing this morning. Bless those that are hungry with food, oh God Almighty. Bless those that are homeless with shelter. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Bless those that are without job, O oh God Almighty, with a job, in the mighty name of Jesus. Those that are financially unstable this morning, bless them with stability, Lord God, financial stability, in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray that you will touch the finance of your people this morning. Lead and guide, direct, O oh God Almighty, we thank you. In the name of Jesus, help us to press on no matter what. In Jesus' precious name, amen. God bless you, my family, my brothers and sisters in Christ. God bless and keep you, see, feel, and seal the vision that God has given unto you. Don't give up. Don't give in. Keep pressing. Keep pressing.